guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. Is it really bad if I tell you that I miss sitting on the floor to talk to you guys? I just do. I love the desk, don't get me wrong, it's great to have everything. It looks, you know, super polished, but this is like old school me, right? This is OG me and I just feel like, I don't know, I'm so comfortable on the floor. It's crazy. Today I am going to be filming my uh, pre-loved bag collection. All of my bags, just bags that are pre-loved, I'm going to show you. And as always, I tell you what they are and where I got them from. And I'll go over them a little bit, just not, just not too much, so it's not too, too, too long. So let's get into this and show you all my resale market once owned pre-loved pre-owned, gently used, gently loved bags. This is my Chanel Le Boy bag in the old medium size in calfskin leather in the large quilting in the double stitch. And it's got the ruthenium silver aged hardware. So it looks super kind of worn and distressed. It's a beautiful bag. Is it now classic in Chanel? The answer is yes. It has been dubbed a classic bag, uh, not to the standards of like a classic flap, but due to the price of this bag, uh, new from the boutique, it is dubbed in the classic line. So a Chanel boy bag, a Le Boy bag is your classic piece. It's resale for this bag is so great. It holds its value unbelievably. So very much like a uh, classic flap bag does from Chanel. So yes, the boy is classic. I get asked that quite a lot. I purchased this off fashionfile.com. There is gonna be a running theme and it's called fashionfile.com because I find it amazing. And my reasons for finding it amazing, not only being a Fashion File blogger, is because of the quality of the resale item itself. And if you have purchased from them, you will agree with me 110% that they list their items well below what it actually is. So this was very good in my, in my belief, it is close to excellent and was when I got it. Yes, it did come with some uh, scratching on this flap, but calf skin is renowned for that, the scratching on the inside of the flap. Uh, so I knew that, the pictures showed that, but still I don't think it's a very good listing. And the items are always, always just such a notch above what it's listed. I will tell you as well for this video what they cost me at the time. So I will try and go off memory. This was listed at, let me try and get it right, I think 4,600 US dollars. Uh, or maybe a little under. Yeah, 4,600 is what I'm going to say. But it is my Chanel Le Boy bag. And it is divine. That's sticking with Chanel, but not purchased from fashionfile.com. This was my first ever Chanel bag. It is an incredibly, incredibly vintage, medium to large uh, double flap. Classic double flap bag in the lambskin leather with the 18 karat gold hardware. And I purchased this off Japan, Tokyo on eBay. They're an eBay seller that I highly, highly recommend. You can see just how flat all of the quilting is. It's lost all its puff. There is quite a lot of wear on this bag. And it, listen, it smells so vintage. It's got that real musty leather smell. And um, I have considered parting with this a few times just for the price and whatnot. However, because it is that 18 karat gold and it's so incredibly classic, I just, every time, you know, I say it and then I deal with someone over it, something holds me back. So I don't part with it. But it is, you know, it is such such a classic bag. It's not as if it's going to go out of style and I'll always be able to sell this bag if I do want to part with it. Uh, but this was purchased from eBay from a Japan consignment store and at the time I paid 
I'm not, I'm, I don't think I'm far off with this, but I'm going to say 999 US dollars. It was under a thousand dollars at the time. And that's when I got married because I gave, I bought it for myself as a wedding present and it was 2012. So that's how much I paid then, which is kind of crazy. But that is my Chanel Classic Double Flap. I have to kind of go of what's in order on the shelf behind me because I obviously have to pull them out. This is one of my newest acquisitions from Fashion File and it is so beautiful. This bag is so beautiful. I honestly never knew the quality until I went into Celine in David Jones, Elizabeth Street in the city here in Sydney and touched it and felt it and felt just felt the quality of this is the drummed leather. Uh, I don't know about the smooth leather, but just the quality of the leather. It's suede lined. It's so beautiful. This is the Celine luggage tote in the nano size. So this is the only size that comes with a crossbody strap that you can connect on the sides and then it's a little top handle here. I purchased this off Fashion File, not off the website, from inside the cage. If you watched my Fashion File tour vlog video that I put up when I was on my trip over there in California with Fashion File, I purchased this with Tamika from inside the bag cage. Like no one goes in there, no one is allowed in there. Three people are like swiped and fingerprinted to get in there. And I shopped in there and picked this bag up. It is so gorgeous. It's in the tangerine color, so a bright pop of color. I unbox this for you guys on a video with Mini, with Minx For All, still there in San Diego. And I'll leave those videos linked below. But this is my Celine Nano luggage. It was, uh, I think, 1700 Yeah, maybe. 1790 US dollars. I think it was actually listed as, as very good, I think, and that price. But guys, no one used this bag. Like, no one used this bag and fashion file always smells so neutral like it's so so nice it's really nice i am gonna say if you do purchase pre-loved off ebay japan japan consignment stores girl just get ready i ain't gonna lie the smell cannot be nice sometimes it's not very nice so just check at least that the odor is neutral or no odor uh but yeah Celine Nano Luggage. I am so happy to present this beautiful bag. And however, it has to, I have to get it reglazed. I seriously, I haven't gotten around to taking that in. To be honest, no one's called me back. I've called Josephine so many times. I've got to call again. I am taking it in to get reglazed. It, it sat against something hot and the top of the glazing has melted. I will see if I can get a shot of that. This is my Louis Vuitton Capucins BB in the noir in Terillion leather, in the pebbled Terillion leather with silver hardware. It is the BB size, so it comes with a crossbody strap. The PM size does now come with a crossbody strap. This is considered the top end of Louis Vuitton uh, line. This is up with their, you know, this plays up with like Chanel prices. You can pick one of these up. In Australia, I think for 6000 7000 I'm not quite sure how much the BB is right now. I paid on LuxuryGarageSale.com. I will link them below. That is who I purchased it from. It was listed in good condition. It said it had hairline scratches on the hardware, which you can just see there nicely. It's got the beautiful pop of uh, Grenade Pink uh, interior lining which is also leather you can see that down the back and I paid for this I'm gonna say four thousand four thousand like seven hundred US dollars so there was a saving there rather than buying it brand new and I wanted to shop with luxury garage sale they're based up in Chicago in the USA and I was more than happy. It was so great and it's just such a gorgeous bag. This is a repurchase. 
If you have followed my channel for a while, you will know that I once had the original of this. I went and repurchased, sold that and repurchased it in this model. If you know the story, yada yada, you know the story. I purchased this off Fashion File, I want to say last year, last year, was it? Yes, I think so. Last year, this is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse in all over monogram. This was listed again as very good. It might have even been just good. And it's, look, it's gorgeous. It's perfect. I will, however, say there is cracking on the flap. If you've been watching my vlogs, I did state that and show you that there is cracking on the um, flap. It is notorious for that. It is known for that. Uh, it can get reglazed. I can send it off to get reglazed along with my Capucins as well. Uh, but yeah, I paid for this. I'm going to say 1000 395 US dollars I think roughly around that but this is my Porsche Matisse and it's beautiful beautiful bag I rave too much I can't rave anymore current bag of choice is my Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM in the Damieri bin if which I get asked so much you are Debating on sizes, GM, MM, GM, MM, what do you want to do? What am I using it for? MM is the way to go. I have the GM behind me in monogram and it is fantastic as like a briefcase, a travel bag or whatever. And if you, if you like huge, huge bags, then that's fine as a handbag. But if you're unsure, just go for the medium. Honestly, this is the ultimate Goldilocks bag. It's just in the middle size. No fast, not too big, not too small. It's that kind of perfectness. I purchased this from Fashion File and sometime last year, I think I paid $1,200, $1,100 for this bag, maybe roughly, I'm not quite sure. It was listed as good condition, just good. And I would say that's probably about fair. There's no stains inside. It is the older model, so it has the cursive writing and it didn't come with the pouch or anything like that, but I knew that and that's exactly what I wanted. Um, so yeah, this is my Neverfull MM in Damier Ibin. Oh my God, how cute. This is so cute. And this is so funny because it is pre-loved. It is pre-owned, but it's not resale as such. I did a bag swap with another Lux YouTuber, Sarah. I will leave her channel below. I did a luxury handbag swap with her. I swapped my <laughs> Louis Vuitton Palm Springs backpack in the PM size for this beautiful Palm Springs backpack in the mini size. So this is the all over monogram mini Palm Springs backpack and it is divine. It is so gorgeous. It is the world's handiest little bag ever. You think it's, you know, just going to be a novelty bag and not fit everything, but haha, -ha, it does. It is amazing. It fits my lifestyle perfectly. The PM didn't. I thought it was going to, but it is a truthfully all round backpack. That's the only way you can wear it. This you can wear as a backpack, you can wear it as a crossbody bag, sling it over one shoulder. It's got a lot of more options, you know, like grab it at the top handle than just the PM did. Uh, so I knew that I wanted to go for that. Plus my husband was teasing me beyond on the PM size. I don't wear this as a backpack, otherwise I'm sure he would tease me as well on that. Uh, but yeah, so it was a bag swap. So I can't tell you a price because it was a bag swap with beautiful Sarah. This is the queen, kind of. I guess my Birkin is the queen, but I can't show that to you because it is not in the country. It is currently going through a Birkin spa, an Hermes Birkin spa over in Pennsylvania, New York with uh, leather surgeons. If you've watched any of my vlogs, I did tell you that once in one of my vlogs that I had shipped it off to leather surgeons to go through a Birkin spa. Trust me. When I took it to the post office and insured the price of that bag, my postie was like, what are you doing, Jerusha? I was like, it's going for a spa. A 
was like, what? First world problems. Are you kidding me? And I was like, yep. So that big queen is not here right now. But this is the second queen, I'd say. This is my Chanel jumbo flap in the caviar leather with the gold hardware. I purchased this on a whim, like an absolute whim. You can't really see much. Off fashionfile.com. I saw it come up. It is the single flap. They come up rarely in really good condition because there's less structure. The, the double flap makes that have a lot more structure. And this all tends to break down over time just on the single flap. I saw this come up, it was listed as very good. I didn't see any damage or any major uh, structure loss uh, because it was a single flap. So I just snapped it up, like literally in a second, just bought it and was kind of like, oh my God, what did I just do? Because I had just bought my GST. So it was almost like this double unboxing because it all just happened all at the same time. But I am so glad it did. I'm so glad it is in my collection. It has been in my collection ever since. I did say if I ever wanted to part with it, it was a great investment because they're so hard to come by in good condition. But yeah, I think I paid, I'm gonna say, I think it had a three in front of it, like 3,800 US dollars. It didn't have a four, or maybe it did. 4,200, it was around there, like the lower 4,000s, but it is beautiful. So this was the culprit that I was actually purchasing and just purchased before I saw that come up on the website. And this is my Chanel GST in caviar leather with gold hardware. Super, super, super duper classic. A lot of people ask me if I'm gonna part with this bag. I don't use it all that option often, sorry. But the answer is no. What I feel when I have this bag, wear this bag, smell this bag, see this bag, those memories or that feeling it brings back of purchasing it is worth too much. It's too good. I'm not going to say one day I wouldn't need to part with it if I wanted to maybe invest in something else. But for now, the answer is no. This bag is so classic. It is discontinued by Chanel now. I bought it from fashionfile.com and I paid, maybe this one is what I paid about 3000 maybe 3700 US dollars for this handbag. Okay. This guy, it's not a handbag, it's a piece of luggage, but I'm showing it to you because it's gorgeous. This is my Louis Vuitton Keep All Bandolier, which I always suggest, new or pre-loved, doesn't matter. Get a bandolier, they're so heavy. Uh, that are, Oh, sorry, in the size 50, I purchased this off Gallery Rare, a Japan consignment store on eBay, the most exciting unboxing I've ever done because I was so scared it was going to be in horrid condition and it's not. It has beautiful honey patina and it's just a beautiful, beautiful piece of luggage. I would probably love to get a 45, not bandolier, to have on the top of my rolling suitcase, my Pegasus, just because that would look so cute as like a combo. This is too big to have on the top of the Pegasus and the Vachetta doesn't match. Usually, I mean, I am an advocate for patina. You guys know that, I love it. I love it dark. Shout out to Melissa May and Amy. They hate dark patina <laughs> and we laugh about it. Um, but I love it. They don't look nice together though. I do love dark patina, don't mind white patina, but I don't, sorry, I do like dark patina, I don't mind white vachetta, but I don't like them together. So I'd get a new uh, speed, uh, Keep All 45 to put on top of that suitcase if I wanted to. That's just a tip. I think at the time I paid 600 US dollars off uh, Gallery Rare for this. So cool. Okay. Oh really feel like there's a bag somewhere. I always do this in a collection video. This is my last pre-loved bag and it is also one of my newest from fashionfile.com that I shopped inside the cage. I'm gonna leave that video below. 
it was amazing total blessing total blessing to be able to do that so I picked up this and the Celine Nag Nano at the same time from Fashion File inside the cage this is the Chanel square mini with the champagne light gold hardware you can see here and on the front on the turn lock it is so gorgeous I just think the fear of lambskin is a complete myth anything you get on it you can just kind of you know lick your finger and buff it out it comes out a lot better than calf skin I really think the whole fear factor of lambskin is really in the eye of the beholder and how you use your items and use your bags I am not scared of it and yeah I, I don't think it's as you know e you know easily damaged as as I feel like people make out and get scared of it uh, so it's very enjoyable because it's so luxurious to the touch but yeah I paid for this this was expensive I think this was around 3,900 US dollars, I think. Still less than retail here in Australia and so hard to come by here in Australia. At the time, I did have my hands on one with Michael and Chanel. I did not have the funds to afford it and was not going to just dump it on a credit card because it was, I remember it was like 4,970 or 4,870. It was a, sh it was a, sh uh, it was a caviar that's what it was it was a caviar square uh, mini it was very very cute though it was so cute okay guys that is it that brings me to the end of my pre-loved or resale market handbag collection video I will link all of the handbags below uh, in a version obviously it's not going to be the ones because with resale if you don't know which it's quite obvious there is only one of this item uh, on the website um, or in the shops in uh, over in uh, luxury garage sale or in fashion file in their boutiques there's only one because it is resale it is not like Louis Vuitton I will leave a version of each of these bags that I mentioned below. Maybe you are interested in buying from the pre-loved market. You're finding it hard to source something. Obviously, each single item is going to be completely different, but I will link below my picks. These are going to be my picks off the sites and what I think is a good buy, a good price and in a really good condition. Uh, for what you get as well especially if you get everything involved so you know box or dust bag authenticity cards that sort of stuff is really good value especially if you're going to resell in the future so thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video you guys if you enjoyed it please go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so guys that would be so great i will see you in my next video take care peace